Occasionally, I'd be strapped to a pole that would fall off a building with me on it. Uh, I cried and screamed a lot, and uh, yeah, yeah, I, I did not keep it cool by any by any stretch of the imagination. Oh, she's such a complex character. She has the tough and unapproachable outside, and she also has the sensitive and vulnerable part. I just love her. I think the whole world is gonna love her too. One of my favorite things about Shang Chi is that we, we we are able to show somebody who is a superhero, who is heroic, but is also incredibly human and relatable, and is unsure of themselves, and is flawed, and is you know has a darkness within him. I think that's part of what makes him a three dimensional, fully fleshed out person, and what will make him universally resonant. You know, I must have been watching one of the movies and and just gotten super fired up about potentially having an Asian or Asian American superhero in the MCU, and just tweeted to my 12 followers as one does when you know they're they're just kind of shouting into the ether and and I you know I, I don't know what I was thinking, but I certainly wasn't thinking that I would be playing the role in five years time. Me and Simu would just get into a groove of just 90% unusable improv, where it would just be a back and forth of really just dead film. You know, it's just like we're wasting film at this point because it's just, we're going off the rails. We're talking about things that we can't talk about. We're singing licensed music. It's just like the worst, just like improv 101, like what not to do. You know, we both come from a background of comedy, and and she is so smart and so fast. We would just roll for long takes and would just improv, and some of the stuff would be so funny. We'd just cackle. Occasionally, I'd be strapped to a pole that would fall off a building with me on it, you know, which which actually was less stunty and actiony because people are just like, "What was it like to do that?" And I was like, "What's it like to get on a really cool ride?" You know, like, "What's it like to be launched in the air on a slingshot?" I didn't have any martial arts background before this film, and my character has a lot of like epic fights in this film. So they flew me four months early to train me, and I can tell you, that was really intense training. You could literally hear Simu and I screaming in the stunt stage. We pretty much started the training regimen from the moment I was I was cast, and and I think number one was getting the speed and the you know the the quickness that you know a master martial artist need ought to embody and and then the other part too is the range of motion and the flexibility so uh we, we really prioritized that early on and then gradually started to work in strength and conditioning trying to build a solid marvel superhero body while at the same time not sacrificing the explosiveness and the agility aquafina Katie slash Aquafina, definitely. Oh, right. I think that just feels like really special, you know? And that's what these movies do. They validate us. And so I think it'll mean a lot to people that will be inspired by him and the characters in the movie. I'm so proud and I feel so lucky that I can bring this character to life. Xiaoling is really a real model to all the kids, all the women. Just stand your own ground and find your voice. What those figures represent to kids everywhere is, is hope, is endless possibility. Kids are going to be able to dress up as this guy for Halloween with the realization that people are going to be able to play with the action figures and just to normalize the faces and, and the experiences. I think that's that's truly what's so impactful about these movies. The moment for me was when I got the message, I got the message from my lawyer and I saw, welcome to the Marvel Universe. That's like a dream. I still have to pinch myself. I think the most important part about this film is maybe what makes it a really universal story. I think Shang-Chi is, is on a journey to find himself and, and also to come to terms with himself. And I think it's one that a lot of us find ourselves doing, especially Asian Americans, I think. You know, if we change even one individual's idea of what is possible 
for them. If we give someone permission to believe something or to have a dream or a goal that they didn't believe that they could do before, then that's so profound how much that means to so many people. It's time to make history. Marvel Studios, Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Rated PG-13 in theaters now.